What's going on guys, JSGC171, I've just shown you the Oldham ticket because we're covering Oldham away back from March 2014, back when you sat in the Verling stand at one end as you approached near the hospital down the big hill, the nearest stand there, that's the stand that you're in, away fans, I'm not sure if they're there now, I think, just think, you'll have to check what stand you're in, but they may have moved, I'll put the pictures up, you'll see if they've moved or not, if they're similar to the others but if you just put in Oldham away into the footballgroundguide.com or if you have a look on Twitter at Oldham's hashtag or put in Oldham away I'm sure you'll see all the pictures on there of what people have said where people sit this is from 2014 remember so I'm not sure if they sit there anymore I think they may have been switched I'm not 100% on that though I will find out for you and I'll pop it up if I'm incorrect now since we went in the picture, you'll notice there was just construction going on. There was just a big ground site and there was construction going on for the new stand, which has since been built. And it means Boundary Park now looks really tidy. Looks really nice. Looks like a very complete ground. It's just a shame that the team this season aren't performing that well. And it looks like they may unfortunately be relegated to League 2. But it does mean if you're an away fan in League 2, you may be able to visit Oldham, which is not often you get to visit them because they, well been in league one for so long so i'm just going to cover here there's certain things to look out for certain things to do when traveling to Oldham and put on little bits of advice now we've kind of covered the ground already i'll just put in some random pictures next to me that you'll see what the ground is when you look in but the tickets when i went i'm not sure if they're still like that they were just ripped they rip off you go in and as you walk through there's a load of stone like floor in there i'm being serious not just like proper flooring but just stone so it's all uneven you got like toilets to one side you've got some kind of weird uh, eating establishment i didn't really use them you walk through and then you're turning right at the top of the stands and you go down that's the berlin stand i don't know if everyone else is like that and then you see the stadium the stadium itself looks really nice in terms of league one football uh, league one stadium sorry it looks real real decent it looks with a new stand looks pretty symmetrical still got that old-fashioned feel to it though um, and in League 2 it's going to stand out even better, it's a pretty, pretty nice ground. Oldham is classified as the coldest ground in the country, so if you're travelling in winter be wary of that. It is quite high up in North Greater Manchester, so be aware of that. Uh, that's about it for the stadium, you've got the club shop near, near the Verling stand where the away stand was. It's got an old fashioned feel to it, but it's, it's, I like the stadium, it's a good day out Oldham, it's, it's not too bad. Now, surrounding area of it, it's all a bit Greater Manchester looking, all that area. All look, pretty much looks the same. Bury, Rochdale, Alden, Middleton, Bolton, Salford. Look at that. 1970s, 1960s, 1970s housing look about it. It's all pretty decent up there. It's pretty cold and it's all pretty miserable but it's kind of what i'm used to living up in north so you know i don't mind it <laughs> people visit from the south or foreign countries may mind it though so just call google maps or something to check it out see what you think if you want to travel there or not i don't know now transport pretty simple heading to manchester whichever transport you want bus coach train car i don't know but you can have fun in Manchester. Lots of things to do. Then just take a tram. 15 minutes, you're in Oldham. Oldham Central, Oldham Monks. Both about ish. The similar distance to Boundary Park. Walk up. That's my recommendation. Just head. If you go to Oldham Monks, just head west. I think it's like through some fields or something. That was the direction I was meant to go in. And I ended up going the wrong way back into Oldham Central. So, And we did get off in Oldham Central to begin with. But I lost my phone, I left it on the tram. It was a nightmare. Someone picked it up after I rang it on my brother's phone and found it a lovely old lady. Gave it back. So, all was well. But the old walk took us about three, four miles out of our way. We ended up walking extremely far. We was aching and tired. We wanted to go to the pub and have some food and a drink beforehand because we got there quite early. We ended up getting there just in time. So, may have noticed on the ticket, unreserved seating, so that's all pretty, pretty okay. 
Sadly, drinks in Manchester, that's where we drank at the station bar at Manchester, Victoria. If you're heading there, you got Witherspoons near in Piccadilly. You also got that pub that was on about near Boundary Park. There's only like one pub. There's a pub, just as you head up from the hospital up there, there was a pub up there that people were drinking. I think it's designated to away fans. We were heading because we don't wear colours and stuff like that. It's not too obvious to tell that we stand out. We wanted to head to a pub that was uh, an eating establishment about a five minute walk away from Boundary Park, there's loads of pubs in and around, there's places to eat and drink in Oldham Centre as well if you want to, but I'd probably eat and drink in Manchester, because you get there early, there you go, that's why you always get there early. And that kind of really covers everything for Oldham away, I mean it's your typical northern one, I mean when I review Rochdale it would be into, the review would be pretty similar. When I review Bolton again, the review will be pretty similar. It's all pretty similar up in Greater Manchester, up in the north. It is grim up north, as the saying goes, though, so... Who knows? All the way, fairly decent, though, so overall, out of ten, I'd give the day a solid six. Six is very solid for me. If I hadn't lost my phone, which made it all rather amusing, but took a load of time and uh, fear and worry, into the day, if we end up having the food and drink, it may well have been like a seven. But, you know, I'd like to do all the way because I'd like to see the new stand again. So I feel like I've not seen it properly. And I think they've moved the away fans. So I'd probably... Shane Preston aren't going to play them again because I'd like to go there again. Now, next one we'll see will be the, for the final game of 2014 for the away review, which will be covering crew. Last game of the season, it was a lively affair. Look out for that one, the atmosphere was good for that. In Oldham, you can take three, four thousand fans. Decent to create a decent atmosphere. Team one, that'll do nicely. So that's a nice way to round it off. This has been JSGC171. Don't forget to look out for more content and more football reviews. Don't forget to leave your comments, likes and subscribes. It'll be also in the playlist. Check out my other football review videos and football vlogs if you wish to. Peace. Ciao for now.